Welcome to my bathroom. Um, today I'm doing part two to the first video I did, which was me taking down my hair. Um, today we're going to be doing my hair. Um, I only have nine minutes, so I'm just going to get started. Respectfully. Okay, so basically, I start off by moisturizing my hair, and I used to use the lock method or whatever, but kind of somewhere along the way, I kind of just started doing whatever to God knows what. I don't have that much time, so I'm just going to be doing a high puff, because it's quick and, and easy, and I don't have to do too much to it. But I do have to moisturize my hair. I washed it yesterday, and I wash it the same way I wash it. Like, I, I wash it the same way I wash it every single time I do my hair. I wash, I shampoo my hair, um, condition. When I take it out of those braids, I shampoo twice because it just doesn't get the dirt out. Um, and I always keep, I try to keep the, sh the shampoo to like my scalp. So I have this like little tool thing, but you can use your fingertips. Honestly, it works all the time. It's great. The difference though, the difference. <laughs> okay, so I just, I use this Miel thing. This Miel leave-in conditioner, and I like it, but I unfortunately might stop using Miel um, because it seems like the like everything might be changing. So I don't need to get my opinion on that though. But I might stop using them. I might just have to find a new leave-in conditioner. The shampoo, the shampoo and conditioner I already use is um is by Aussie, but. I should focus as much on the shampoo and conditioner that I do on like the products that I put in my hair, but yeah. I've been using the Lumiel leave-in conditioner like first, like the spray one. Then I use um, this K Naturals, the hair parfait. It's so good. It's like shea butter. It is so good. My hair loves it. Like my hair has literally been growing because of it or like not even growing but staying moisturized for longer periods of time and that was my issue like it would not stay moisturized at all like it would literally dry out probably like within the first week my hair was already detangled from the shower like when i shower i go um i detangle it and then i put it in braids and then i when i put the conditioner in and then i rinse it out with the braids in um if i wanted to be faster I normally would um like unbraid the braid, then rinse it out, and then put the braid back in. And most times I would normally moisturize it right then and there, but I did it late at night and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. It's the first day of school and I'm not ready uh, to be back in college. Well, not to be back in college. It's only been a month break. It's not like it's the summer break, but Spring semester, I don't know if it's just me, um, but spring semester is normally the worst. It's worse than any fall semester or I've never experienced summer or winter semesters, but I heard those are easier than the regular spring and fall semesters. And one thing about like when I moisturize my hair, I moisture, I like, I use my hands to spread it out first before I use any comb or I have this detangling brush. I need a new one, but it basically like it'll split up as I like detangle out my hair. I'm not using it today because my hair isn't wet and that would just cause a lot of breakage in my opinion. My hair, like everybody's hair is gonna be a little bit different. So like one thing I did do was like try a, di a whole bunch of different products. There's some things that stick and there's some things that don't. Like when I first started doing my hair, when I was in like middle school, I loved Cantu. But everyone knows now that it's not the best idea. Be better than this product section out your hair. And after I use those two products, I use this oil and I like, I can go down, I can go through like a separate video where all of this is, but the oil, I make it, like I combine oils, I put different things in it. And I've been doing things like that since I was like, since I first started my hair journey, because there would be times when I would run out. 
oil just flew on my mouth. There'll be times that I won't run out. It's been, I think I was like in high school, my freshman year. So it's been about eight years since I started being natural and I've cut it since then. I trimmed it. I haven't started over, but I've definitely cut way lower than I wanted to multiple times. Next, I'm just gonna put Eco Styler um, and rub it in my hands like it's lotion. On the edges of my hair and the back of my hair. And I'm gonna take this giant brush. I'm gonna push it up. A giant forehead. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not that big. It's not that big. It's not that big. Let's, let's not do too much. I'm still getting used to like my shrinkage and stuff. Like it's it's taken me a while to like get used to shrinkage. This is not my hair in shrinkage. Um, but I'm gonna learn how to get. I'm gonna learn how to love my my hair when it's shrunken completely. It's complete in its complete natural state. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. This I specifically bought. I bought a shoelace specifically for my hair. And they have bands where you could do this, like bands that split up that way, but I just don't like how they work. So I use a shoelace. Um, and I put the flat part in the back and I put the crossy part in the front. And I just pull it, pull it up, pull this back. Pulls up, and then eventually it just like kind of pushes itself in. And I haven't done this. I haven't done a puff in a long time. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a puff in a long time. But in freshman year of college, this was my go-to every day, every single day. And I actually forgot that until my boyfriend brought it up. I was like, okay, I'll do it. how tight you want it i like it a little more tiny because i like i like i like the security and this is an extremely long shoe and then i will tuck it in itself and i'll wrap it and tuck it and i just Put it on the edges just to hold them in place through all the day because walking around sweating, especially in the summer, walking around, you'll be sweating, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it'll move. I want to do more um like styles like I that I used to watch and do when I was younger. Um just so I get more accustomed to doing my hair again because I will put them in braids and I will just forget about it. I never used to be like that. Time just kind of got away from me. Um, so I want to get back into it. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready for my class. Um, thanks for watching me do my hair and get ready with me. And that is how I take care of it after I wash it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>